a card game. By order of the Overseer Council, the following object contains infohazardous and cognitohazardous properties. The following document is free of infohazards and cognitohazards. However, reader discretion is advised. Item number SCP-8711 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures No physical description, photographs, or videos of SCP-8711-1 are to be held on record. The package containing SCP-8711-1 is to be kept closed in safe class containment locker at all times. SCP-8711 must remain in its package at all times. Personnel are not to handle SCP-8711-1 outside its container without explicit authorization of Level 3 personnel. Due to the cognitohazardous properties of SCP-8711-1, if at any time it is not in its container and locker, this may constitute a breach of containment. In case of a containment breach, affected individuals are to be treated with Class A amnestics via remote drone, while affected individuals not in immediate process of SCP-8711-2. Following this, a D-Class personnel is to retrieve SCP-8711-1 with a specialized cognitohazard filtering headset. All components of SCP-8711-1 are to be replaced into the package and returned to containment. No further experimentation with SCP-8711-1 is permitted without overseer approval. Due to SCP-8711-1 being non-anomalous in the absence of SCP-8711-1, its containment is unnecessary. Description NB Physical descriptions of SCP-8711-1 are infohazardous and photographic depictions of SCP-8711-1 and SCP-8711-1 itself are cognitohazardous. SCP-8711-1 is similar in appearance and composition to a deck of French-style playing cards. SCP-8711-2 is a card game commonly known as Mao or Mal. The game is played as follows. Players may not speak to one another. Players may not touch their cards before the game begins. To call a timeout, a player would declare a point of order. The objective of the game is to shed all cards from one's hand. Players may not discuss the rules of the game with one another. During different events, such as laying down a certain card, to complete one's turn, it is required to perform a certain action, such as saying, have a nice day, after placing a six. Every round, the winner of the previous round may make any new rule or nullify an old one and apply it as soon as the next round begins. Failure to follow a rule results in receiving a penalty card. Any player may serve and receive a penalty. When played with a non-anomalous deck of cards, there is no ill effect on subjects. However, descriptions of SCP-8711-2, where SCP-8711-1 was used, are infohazardous. Subjects influenced by infohazards and cognitohazards associated with SCP-8711-1 will attempt to convince others to attempt to help them locate SCP-8711-1 in order to play SCP-8711-2. They may act or become violent after the game. Several subjects will have been terminated by other subjects by various means, such as anomalous decapitation, anomalous blunt force trauma, physical trauma, anomalous poisoning, anomalous drowning, and infohazard expunged. Subjects, upon perceiving infohazardous or cognitohazardous elements of SCP-8711-1, immediately plan to become very invested in the outcome of a game and appear familiar with SCP-8711-2, even if they have never even heard of the game before. Addendum 1, June 21st, 2007. Test Log. Four D-Class personnel were assigned to play a game of SCP-8711-2 with SCP-8711-1. Subjects D-1336, D-3124, D-9091, and D-9952. Research Personnel Researcher Michaels D-1336, D-3124, D-9091, D-9952. Researcher Michaels D-1336, D-3124, D-9091, and D-9952 enter the testing chamber, activate the testing camera, and remove SCP-8711-1 from its container. D-Class personnel enter the chamber, start up the camera, and sit around the table. D-1336 opens the top and slides the cards out onto the table. 
After looking at the faces of some cards, he immediately appears to succumb to the cognitohazardous effect of SCP-8711-1, and continues to deal the cards to the other subjects, who immediately begin looking around in a state of anxiety and paranoia, most likely due to the cognitohazardous properties of SCP-8711-1. D-1336 Let the game of Mal begin. Infohazard expunged. Post-event. D-1336 was the only one to exit the test chamber. He declared himself the winner when exiting the test chamber. D-3124, D-9091, and D-9952 expired due to decapitation and exsanguination, and physical strangulation respectively. D-1336, all hail the King of Mal. D-1336 was treated with Class A amnestics and returned to duties as a D-Class personnel. D-9952 retrieved SCP-8711-1 without incident, and it was returned to its containment locker. End log.